Welcome to my first introduction video covering HTML. Uh, throughout these videos, we're going to be learning HTML from start to finish. Uh, this is just the introduction video, but coming towards the end, we're going to actually create an HTML web page using nothing but HTML, so that way you can get some practice in there. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to be teaching you what HTML is, and then I'm going to show you a couple of text editors and how to choose the text editor to uh, create HTML documents. And then we're going to explore an HTML page. I'm going to show you what it looks like and how it is used to create a website. Then I'm going to show you the structure of an HTML document and the importance of that structure. And then I'm going to briefly uh, cover tags and elements, the key components that create an HTML document. And finally, we're going to create a template using Notepad++, which is the text editor that I'm going to be using throughout the course of these videos. And I'm going to recommend that you save this template, uh, because we're going to be using it in every single video to come. So starting off, what is HTML? Well, HTML is an acronym also known as Hypertext Markup Language. So if you ever hear anybody talking about hypertext markup language, you know they're talking about HTML, but I don't know who would do that. Normally people just say HTML. Uh, HTML is the predominant markup language for web pages, meaning that just about every single web page out there uses HTML. Uh, the majority, I would say, obviously the predominant markup language. HTML is written in the form of tags and tags are enclosed in angle brackets and they look uh, somewhat like this, actually exactly like this. It's got an open angle bracket here with the tag name, in this case the tag name is HTML, and then a closing angle bracket. And that's what a tag looks like. Web browsers read HTML documents and then they turn them into visual web pages. A browser, uh, obviously you're not surfing the web and you're just seeing a whole bunch of HTML out on the, the screen. Um, uh, what browsers are there for is web browsers grab that HTML document and then they understand what it's saying and display it on the screen so that way you can have a visual uh, display of the web page as opposed to just the HTML itself. All right, let's go ahead and get out of PowerPoint here. And the first thing I want to show you is this is an HTML document. This right here has got the HTML tag to open up the document right here. And uh, it's got HTML all the way down to the bottom HTML tag. So this is kind of what, this is exactly what we're going to be learning to be creating. Uh, we're going to learn to create all of this throughout this course, uh, just about all of this. We're not going to learn about calling scripts here like JavaScript. And we're not going to learn uh, connecting the CSS style sheet to our page either because that's going to be added in the CSS videos which you can watch next. Um, but other than that we're going to be learning most all of this in HTML. This HTML document right here actually is the ex it creates this web page right here. You can see a big difference here, a bunch of HTML text and how it's visually displayed on the screen. So the browser takes this HTML, runs down the line here and displays notepad++.org up on the screen like this. So Moving on, the first text editor I'm showing you is Notepad++. This is the text editor that we're going to be using throughout the course of the video. It's free, and you can just go to this website, notepad-plus-plus.org, or just search for Notepad++ in Google. And always on their home page, on the bottom left right here, they've got the current version of the download. You're going to want to download the most current version of Notepad++. And you can always check back to this site to get the most current version. Or you can click on the download link over here and it'll take you to a separate page where you can then download the application here. Notepad++ is only for Windows, they don't make it for Mac. So if you're using a Mac, I'm going to move on to the next text editor, which you can use uh, and follow us when we're using Notepad++, which is made by Barebones Software. Uh, the one I'm showing you right now is BB Edit, 
and as you can see they say it doesn't suck and they're right it does not suck BB edits a very nice text editor uh, the only problem with BB edit is you have to pay for it it's not free so you can go ahead and buy BB edit right here you can download the free trial to test it out uh, BB edit is not very expensive but it is and it's a very good text editor um, but if you're looking for something free for the Mac, just go on and move over here to Text Wrangler. Go ahead and click on that. And Text Wrangler is the lighter version, or as they say, the little brother to BB Edit. And you can go ahead and download that. This is a free version, and then they give you some examples of what is the difference between Text Wrangler and BB Edit. And uh, there really isn't much of a difference, something that you're not going to really need to worry about because you are a beginner uh, creating HTML. Uh, so I'd go ahead and download Text Wrangler if you're using a Macintosh. The next one I want to show you is the one that I use most frequently in almost every single website that I create, which is Adobe Dreamweaver. And the most current version right now is CS5.5. And uh, Dreamweaver obviously is not a free application. Uh, it does cost you $400. It's pretty pricey. Uh, if you do have an older version of Dreamweaver, you can upgrade to the newer version and pay only $119. Dreamweaver not only is a text editor, but it's also a web, well it says right here, it's an industry leading web authoring and editing software. It uh, basically gives you a design view as well and a whole bunch of new features to where you don't actually have to type the code, the HTML code. You can click on a couple of buttons and it'll create the code for you. Now that's not always the best way to create a website. Definitely you're going to want to learn HTML because uh, you want to have good coding on the web because otherwise it can show up very randomly on different kind of browsers. Safari might show your page differently as Chrome does or or Internet Explorer which is it shows pages just very differently than others. It's very different. Uh, anyway, so uh, Dreamweaver is a very good application. You can It's very quick and easy to create a website using Dreamweaver. The next one I want to show you, which is similar to Dreamweaver, is Microsoft Expression, formerly known as Microsoft Front Page. Uh, this is what I started doing my web design on because it is cheaper. It's only, I believe it's $150 to purchase the software instead of uh, $400. And uh, it has all the same features that Dreamweaver does. Uh, I do think that there's a little bit of differences between the two that I do prefer Dreamweaver better. Uh, or over than Expression, but I do also have Microsoft Expression and it's a very good application to use and especially for half the prices Dreamweaver is definitely a good uh, application to start out on. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Notepad++ and I'm going to show you the structure of an HTML page. This right here, uh, if you want to go ahead and pause the video and if you have Notepad++ or your text editor out right now, I'd go ahead and copy all this down. This is, this is going to be your template. Uh, all of this is required in XHTML. You have to have all these elements in here in order to have a valid XH, XHTML page. You need to explain the doc, doc type, which is up here. You need to have an opening HTML tag, which honestly you really don't need all of this right here. You really just need the HTML tag, opening and closing, a head tag, a title tag that is inside the head tag, and a body tag. Uh, this makes up your HTML page, and it is what you're going to need. So go ahead and jot all this down on Notepad++. I'm going to give you a second here to pause the video and, and take note of this. Okay, now that you've jotted all of that down, and I would go up to File, go to Save As, and you're going to want to make sure that your save as type is under hypertext markup language. Uh, Notepad++ offers a whole bunch of different things you can save it as, but we want to save it as an HTML document. And I've went ahead and titled mine my site.htm. You don't have to copy that. You can title it anything you want. If I could spell my site correctly. And uh, I use the extension .htm as opposed to .html. It really doesn't matter. Either one of them work just fine. If you do a .html page, it's going to show up the same as a .htm page. No difference whatsoever. I just use htm because, I don't know, throughout the years I've gotten really lazy and I just don't want to type in that extra L. It just seems pointless to me. So go ahead and save your document. Mine's going to prompt me to replace it because I've already got one that exists. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And now that your document is saved, 
I just want to go over uh, what tags and elements are, just kind of so you have a broad idea of what they are. Um, a tag is, like I kind of explained earlier, an open bracket with the tag name in the middle and then a closing bracket. Now the majority of tags that are out there uh, or the tags that you would be that would be considered a container or an element always have an opening and a closing tag and as you can see in Notepad++ a lot of other text editors don't do this and this is one feature I really like about Notepad++ is that when you click on your opening tag it automatically highlights the closing tag that relates to that tag if you click on your closing tag it does the same so HTML, this HTML tag right here has a closing tag of HTML right here. Now the difference between the two is obvious. It's the HTML closing tag has a forward slash before the tag name and the opening tag does not have that forward slash and that is the difference between the two. Uh, you need to have both of these in order to create your element or, cre or container. Now an element um, is just a opening tag, a closing tag, and everything in between. Uh, you can call it a container as well, opening tag, closing tag, and everything in between. So right now, my HTML tag contains the head tag, title tag, and body tag. The body tag contains nothing there's in there, but it's still considered a container because there will be stuff in there. Uh, the head tag contains the title tag, and the title tag contains nothing, but when you actually put in your title there, it will contain the title. And so that's what a tag is and a container or element is. And uh, future in the future videos, and actually the next video, I'm going to be going over tags and attributes in more detail. Tags, elements, and attributes in more detail. But uh, as of right now, just a basic description of what these are.